Today's ceremony is taking place at the Monument of the People's Hero at Tiananmen Square. Well, the monument is established uh, to honor those who paid the tribute, the ultimate price for national independence and the freedom and well-being of the Chinese people. And on Martyrs Memorial Day, we take a look back at how the monument was built and also preserved. In 1949, a day ahead of the official proclamation of the People's Republic of China on October the 1st, the first plenary session of the Chinese People's Political Consultative Conference decided to build the monument. A founding ceremony was held just hours later, attended by leaders of New China. Chairman Mao Zedong made the first dig. Architects from across the country submitted more than 140 designs. Two years later, one was chosen. Beginning in 1952, it took another six years to finish the construction. The monument is 37.94 meters high and weighs over 10,000 tons. It contains some 17,000 pieces of marble and granite. On the pedestal, there are eight huge bas reliefs carved out of white marble, depicting scenes from the First Opium War in 1840 to the founding of the People's Republic in 1949. It pays tribute to heroes who since 1840 have laid down their lives in struggles against domestic and foreign enemies. It honors those who have died in the struggle for national independence and the freedom and well-being of the Chinese people. The front of the monument bears an inscription in Mao Zedong's handwriting, Eternal Glory to the People's Heroes. On the back is a message drafted by Chairman Mao and written by Premier Zhou Enlai. Every year, millions of people come here and read the words once spoken by Mao Zedong.